around the country, hip hop has a brand in the world. And so if you're the hip hop mayor, and people say, what is that? It's intriguing to people. Y'all say Troy D, D. When I say D, y'all say Troy D. Yeah, yeah. Turn it up till it rattle the trunk. Buy them up from the cars to the trucks. Let me take you on this ride. 2001, Detroit. 80% d'Afro-Américains. L'une des dix villes les plus importantes des États-Unis va élire son plus jeune maire, Kwame Kilpatrick, 31 ans. Le maire, c'est mon maire. Je suis un fan du maire. Il est wonderful pour la ville parce qu'il a bridgé le gap entre les jeunes et les anciennes cultures. Parce que le maire parle la langue d'une jeune génération. Il est un peu bilingue dans ce sens. Et mon understanding est qu'il préfère ne pas être appelé un maire de la hip hop. Mais il aussi reconnaît que c'est la culture that he grew up in. Um, that's important for me because it enables me to look at where he is and to see myself in his shoes and to feel more connected to the actions of his administration. I think that's very important for any person who regularly exercises their right to vote. I didn't have that in previous mayors. I, didn't ha I haven't had that in a president yet. You know, it's no secret. I come from the hip hop generation. You know, I grew up listening to the music, still do. Uh, I like it. I think it's a powerful thing. Uh, I like to move to it, groove to it, and just sit up and listen to it. But at the same time, here it's been used as a negative um, because of, tra you know, the traditional government and systems that we have in place here in the city of Detroit. You know, I mean, a lot of these folks, their children listen to it. And they don't like that. <laughs> you know, they don't like the fact that in suburbia, uh, you pay for this uh, high-priced private school and, and, and all you hear is your son playing Tupac, uh, Eminem, and Biggie in the room. That, 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 so that, that, that has the negative connotation. Uh, and plus, I think it was the same way when people in the 60s were listening to the Temptations and the Four Top. One of the things, the, my favorite album this year had to be Kanye West, because like some elders were asking me months ago, when is Joy going to come back to hip hop? Back when I used to rap back in the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, we rapped about fun stuff. I mean, guess what people would call friendly rap, but it wasn't that it was friendly, it's just that everybody don't sell drugs. I ain't never sold drugs in my life. So why am I going to rap about that? I ain't never had to carry a gun. Put yourself in a violent mode or mindset, you inviting violence. Hip hop is a culture. It's got the dance, it's fashion, it's the people themselves, it's the slang, it's all those things together. It's not just, yeah, get on the mic, I'm MC such and such, whip out my gun, shoot you up, I sell enough drugs. It's not about that no more. You know, it's time to worry about the kids, like that shorty right there, you know, and these other kids. That's what it's about. If we're not gonna make this music for the kids, then we should stop. De nombreux défis l'attendent dans une ville connue pour ses problèmes d'insécurité, d'exode de la population, mais aussi un déficit budgétaire atteignant les 170 millions de dollars. Détroit, c'est aussi une richesse et une diversité musicale remarquable. Quand la politique flirte avec la musique. Detroit a spent a lot of time trying to be somebody else. Uh, Detroit is all right all by itself and I, and I think we have to celebrate who we are, celebrate our heritage, the grittiness of this city and then reclaim the people from here. You know, I went out early in my administration and met with Barry Gordy and asked him to come back and do something here. I, you know, I, I went out and found Eminem, you from here, right. you know, Kid Rock, you know, y'all get together and do something here in the city of Detroit. Plus you have new people like Dwele and Kim and all these, this kind of new generation of people who are now into this neo-soul kind of hip-hop, you know, flavor, and, which is real good too for our city. Yeah. And you have a whole underground and undercurrent of people that are coming up as well. Yeah, that's true. When you talk about galvanizing the hip-hop community, um, you also have to 
galvanize the thought process around what it has to do with me. Right. You know, it's a very indi individualistic community, and, and we have to make sure that we help people understand that it has everything to do with you. Politic is in everything, and if people don't understand that the decisions that are made today in Washington impact and affect your grandchildren's lives and what your responsibility is to make something happen, uh, then they don't really understand the world. It's on. It's on. Everything you see has got something to do with hip hop. So we is a really got a political power right now. I mean, but we can get even further with it and go further and get even more political. This track hot, ain't it? And if you haven't got acquainted, Big Hercule SV, you know the cast that drop painted from the same city. Motown, you ain't pretty, slow down. When I squeeze the four pound, it ain't pretty. Last month we had to hit our ran, it, but the We raised still. the uh, turnout 30% amongst people 18 to 35, and that's because people felt us. Hip hop summit, but the city's still wild. And bumper guy, you might get pop from it. This We're out here trying to get people to register to vote. Our main target is the young people who are just turning 18 years old. 26 avril 2003. Une foule de 8000 personnes, du rap en fond sonore, Kwame Kilpatrick annonce le Hip Hop Summit en collaboration avec le rappeur Eminem, ainsi que le Hip Hop Summit Action Network. Russell Simmons, Naz, Method Man, Redman, D12, Slum Village, pour ne citer que, sont présents. Objectif, aider à une jeunesse plus citoyenne à travers le Hip Hop. Understand it's just work, yeah, first man, first nigga, yeah, niche, and you gotta hit the block with the product, and I ain't talking about booster and products, what you know about black marauders, work stashed in my purse in the baby powder holler. We, we known for the Motown sound, we known for being Rock City, we the funk capital, you know what I'm saying, you got cats like George Clinton that have made hits out of here, you know, and you got the techno side of Detroit with Theo Parrish and Carl Craig so our music is based our, our city is basically based off that vibe man it's, to me I, I, I feel a little electricity every time I walk out the house you know because I could just feel that soul in the air man when it comes to Detroit <laughs> Hip hop got a bunch of politics in it. Some of it I don't like. But I'm just focusing on the positive end, man. It's a bunch of things that go on down in Detroit that ain't right, man. You know, a lot of lot of drug dealing, a lot of killing or whatever. If we could take that and make this movement into a positive movement and had the music involved, then that's a wonderful thing to me. Everybody looking at rap as, as, as the thing to do or the thing to watch. And for it being that way, we played a soundtrack in a lot of people's lives. I done did some things in the past I'm not proud of. And I'm just trying to make things right with this music. Get it. Get it. Go to work, put your head down, and get it. It's gonna make you successful, it's gonna make you happy. When you wake up, don't think about what you can get. Think about what you can get. And please vote. I want to say I'm blessed to be able to serve this hip hop community and serve you. And thank you, Detroit, for having us. The that I came here today to support the positivity and tell y'all, like, my right to vote was taken away from me a few years ago. I may be the next president next year. And I'm really like the so if I do, I want you to go out and vote because I can't. So vote for me. Thank you very much. Mass pro that I slide through that low flow. Lie on the floor and say bye bye to your dough. Man, you ain't know. It's easy to find out why you're whining and dying out. Your cookies caught a drop. All I need is just me. Hey, man. All I need is I hear the prayers of angels and demons fighting over my soul, Lord. Just give me the path through this bloodbath and it's on, Lord. Roll, Lord. Haters out my zone when it's going down. Ride with the bone thug. Violate, we gon' clown. Full pal. Be safe in the streets of the showdown. Down. Love to Mr. Gambino. I'm the chief, and this now is my town. Hip Hop Summit is about empowering our people. It is about revolution. It is about movement. 
It's about change. Um, we're trying to uh, build self-esteem amongst our community. Well, the music is the drumbeat. I mean, in, 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 in this country, music has always been a way of freedom. We're using our, the, uh, the hip hop, the music. We're using our love for poetry, and we're bringing all these things together to create change. Love is not what love seems, y'all live through it, cause love said you were strong enough. Love through it and emerge with stronger stuff. Love is the reason to live, the rationale for dying, and God is are the only words that can define it. If you're in love, say L, say O, say V, say E. And so now we're going back to that. When hip hop was a political force, when we rap or we spit, and they would, people would listen to it, and it would, it would just create change. Be caught in lies, politicking. It's your decision. I hold my position, deliver with precise incision. Despite the fact the heist is living, the fight, in fact, is surviving the heat in the kitchen. Twice was written, striving for six. Equality, repentance, step to seven with no apology. Logically, I surpass the hypotheses that make mockeries of my intelligence. They preach foul slang for believing in God we trust. Tatted on the same big face that makes us lust. So are we weak in the flesh, or is it the mind? With capability, such a surreal feeling surviving off of energy, ducked off experiment with hydroponics, whoever thought this knowledge would exist when she dropped out of college thought all possibility demolished now it's appealing, a message worth listening to sent to millions, still I see that hate from some and watch them shiver, determination with no substance, so who's realer peep the mirror, should I be the forgiver that's like living in a world where all them seeds deliver. You know the future is like you know, you are hip hop I'm hip hop and so where you're going and where I'm going, that's where hip hop is going. On April 4th, 1968, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated. On that day, when he was shot and killed, they thought the dream died. Hip hop was born. Heavenly glory. A role model? Uh, absolutely. Um, and I consider myself that if I wasn't a mayor, uh, if I'm a man and I'm walking and I'm breathing and uh, I'm living, then I'm a role model. And you know, I know it's people in South Africa and people in Jamaica and people in France uh, that, that, you know, that, that are looking to Detroit and say, who's this young brother in Detroit and what is he doing and what is he talking about? And I want to make sure you know we got much love for you here in Detroit and we think that, you, you know, we know that you're a part of us. We are all the same people. I am because we are. À Detroit. En un an, plus de 25 000 personnes de 18 à 35 ans seront inscrites sur les listes électorales. And immediately I was taken aback. Another young man thought this woman act blacker than anybody I done seen since Richard Roundtree. You see, you had this bravado, and it shined as bright as a mavado and made me feel grand as a Colorado king. Now when you caught me with that pen, you told my mama back then that boy's gonna be a writer. In fact, he gonna shine amongst men, and I was just a fourth grade. I hadn't considered the weight of your words. Voting is power. Voting is power. Voting is power. Please go and vote. Voting is power. Voting